Hi, welcome back. In previous video, we understood Spring Boot application execution process, right? Theoretically, we've gone through 10 steps. Okay, so these are the steps involved in Spring Boot application execution process. And this is the diagram which shows Spring Boot application execution process at a high level. So first step is our Spring Boot application execution start from the main method and main method internally called run method. Run method internally does all these steps like it will start the stopwatch to calculate the time taken by the Spring Boot application and it will prefer the environment like production environment or QA environment or test environment etc. And then it will print the banner and then it will start the IOC container and it will refresh the application context and it will trigger the runners and then it will return application object to the uh, to the main entry point class all right so these are the steps involved in spring boot application execution process now we will deep dive into the source code of run method and we will understand all these steps okay so let's switch to our spring tool suit id let me stop the server okay so all of our spring boot application execution start from this class so this is called start class or spring boot application entry point class so this class contains a main method and main method internally contain internally called spring application not a run method so look at here run method is a static method and we are calling run a static method using a class name we are not creating object of this class to call a run method because the run method is static so we use class name to call the run method a run method takes two arguments first argument the start class name and then command line uh, command line arguments okay great now let's jump into run method and look at here now we are in spring application dot class and this class contains a run method and look at here run method is a static method okay a run method internally called another run method so there are overloaded static run methods okay and again this run method internally called run method and there we go so this is the run method which contains all the steps for example the the first step is st stopwatch starts and if you look at the source code of run method run method internally starts a stopwatch to calculate the time taken by our Spring Boot application. Okay, understood. So this is the lineup code. Okay, run method internally starts stopwatch to calculate the time taken by our Spring Boot application. And it will, you know, declare configurable application context object. So this is nothing but our up, uh, Spring IOC container object. This is not yet created. This will be created in next step okay and it will get all the listeners okay and then it will start all the listeners so these are the spring boot application level listeners okay whatever the command line argument that we pass to run method that will be passed to this get run listeners method okay so first step is starting stopwatch and next preferring the environment to run our Spring Boot application and here is here is the logic which will prefer environment for our Spring Boot application if you go inside prefer environment then you can able to see all this source code so this source code is responsible to create the environment okay so based on the web application type it will create the environment all right so at a post you know at a post time you, you may not able to understand the source code but uh, just try to understand the steps what does what does the run method you know does behind the scene so once it will prepare the environment the next step is it will print the banner okay look at here print banner next step it will create the application context it means it will create the spring ioc container if you go inside create application context so look at here it will create the application context if you go inside create method and if you can see that it will create the application context or ioc container based on the based on the 
uh, the web application type whether the application is a web application or a react web application or a default application so the types of spring boot application that we will see in one of the you know next video just remember run method internally starts ioc container so if you don't use spring boot then we need to manually start the application context okay next step is it will refresh the application context and then it will stop the watch and then it will you know call the runner it will trigger the runners if you go inside call runners it has two types of runner application runner and command line runner so whatever runner we use in our spring boot application that will be triggered here okay great after that it will return a context context in it is but a configurable application context object okay so configurable application context is an interface it and internally extends application context and application context is nothing but our spring ioc container okay understood so let me revise the steps so run method internally call stopwatch dot start method to just calculate the time taken by our spring boot application then next it will prefer the environment next it will print the banner next it will create the application context and then it will refresh the application context and then it will stop the watch and then it will call all the runners or internally it will trigger all the runners and then it will return application context object okay understood so very important guys you should understand how spring boot you know application you know bootstrap behind the scene now we understood about the run method what it does internally okay just uh, note down all these steps i will i will give all these notes in video description okay guys so look at here run method returns configurable application context and we can use this application context object to get uh, the bins that you that we want we will see in upcoming videos how we can use the application context object to retrieve a particular bean from the spring ioc container all right i hope you understood how run method does you know uh, bootstrapping of our spring boot application